Salut, Théo Harmony here, and today sharing with you an idea that I discovered by just noodling around, and this idea can be taken and expanded. It's a flashy idea, but you can use it in a very melodic context by simply changing some intervals and, and using this as a smart way to expand your fretboard knowledge. This idea is based, uh, was born on the minor pentatonic scale. Let's consider an E minor pentatonic scale. If I take an E minor pentatonic scale and I consider the fourth position of that E minor pentatonic scale, that fourth position has the, the root on the A string. Here's that fourth position played all together. Now I'm going to take that position and uh, only play strings 5, 3, and 1. I'm going to use the same concept, but this time with the fifth position. Here is the fifth position of E minor pentatonic all together. And if I only play strings 5, 3, and 1, this is what I have. Now if I combine the notes that I, that I found on the fourth position and the fifth position, I will have a three note per string position shape, and I will play that shape only on strings 5, three, and one. This is what I have. There's a, an extension here, but if I get used to that, I can, I can speed up the process and, and play this legato. By just altering one note, I can make this lick a lot more melodic and fitting to a particular mode. For instance, if I look at what's happening on the first string, if I follow my minor pentatonic shape, I will have fret seven, 10, and 12. You can change the 10th fret to the 9th fret and this note is a major 6th. So this would work over a Dorian progression. I can expand this by adding some taps. A lot of new ideas can, can be born from just expanding on this concept. We just started with a minor pentatonic scale. We blended one position with the other, three note per string and string skipping, and by simply altering some of the notes, we can we can get some modal modal arpeggios, three note per string, sk string skipping, a very flashy way to play some of these um, positions, and um, that's what this lesson is about. I encourage you to explore this concept and and make it your own. Really, really take this idea and and develop something unique, something to you and use it, speak with this idea. That's what music is all about. It's about conversation, expressing yourself with notes and, and rhythm, and that's my goal here. Inspire you to express yourself more effectively and, and become who you need to become musically. Thanks for watching this video. You can check my website, guitarplayback.com, for backing tracks and, and video lessons, licks, a lot of different um, tools that are going to help you develop your inner musician and uh, feel free to book a lesson with me a one-on-one -on -one lesson on my website davidwallman.com i also offer some group lessons which are a great way to learn new things if you're shy on the camera you don't need to be on camera and you will share the experience with um, other players anyways thanks for watching this please subscribe share this around and i will see you next time and until then salut